Right now, it's time for us to get an update on what's happening with Faith Community Church in Red Oak. And we have with us this morning, well, it's goodbye, Brett. <laughs> you know, I was I was wondering how long it was going to take you to get to that in about three seconds. That was <laughs> I, did, I didn't disappoint you, did I? No, not at all. How are you? Can we? I don't know if we. I, I don't know if I should bring it up or not. Can we talk about the fact that you're leaving and you're not going to be here in Red Oak anymore, and you got a big high dollar senior position somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Well, Can we talk about that, or do you since, not want us to bring well, that up? Well, I, I since I suppose that since people are stopping by my house asking me when I'm moving, we could probably have to go ahead and talk about it. All right. So, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Brett, Brett White, Pastor. Goodbye, Brett is with us this morning, and uh, you probably have already heard. That's why I was fairly comfortable with bringing it up early on here that uh, he and his family will be leaving. How long have you been here in Red Oak? Uh, it will be eight years this July. So, yeah, well, just, it's been just for true. us a great eight years. I'll tell you well, that. Ours, our pleasure as well. It's been fantastic, and yeah, we. Why'd they fire you? Let's start with that. <laughs> well, first of all, I have not been fired. Oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, we. W- this has been a journey. In fact, you asked me, I think the last time that I was here, how long I was going to stay here, and mm-hmm. I said as long as God would have us here, because mm-hmm. we were in the midst at that point of, of just processing all of this, and, and right in the center of that journey where we really had no intentions of going anywhere. We were, we and still are, perfectly happy with where we're at and what we're doing. Um, it's just that God had some ideas that uh, started tapping us on the shoulder and talking to us about the possibility of, of us leaving and through a whole lot of conversation uh, obviously between Heather and myself and with Pastor David and with our board at Faith Community uh, we've all been praying and just came to the conclusion that um, God has released us for ministry here and we're going to be pursuing uh, a ministry as a senior pastor uh, in a place yet to be determined. So, so will you be here until God points you to where that is? Yes. Yeah, that's that's the plan. We're we're. I mean, I don't have a an end date. I don't have an ultimatum or anything else. We're mm-hmm. we're just continuing on as normal until until we know where it's going to be. So if I could convince God not to show you a place, you'd still be here forever. <laughs> well, there there may there may come an end date. You never know. But <laughs> yeah. So I, you uh, knew last time I asked you that you were leaving. I knew it was a very strong possibility. Yes. You didn't know that I knew though, did you? No. And I didn't know, so okay. that's why you didn't know that. <laughs> well, again, very seriously, you know, I, I also certainly only want what God has in store for you and your family. I mean, that's the way it works best. Right, as do we, yeah. So as, as hard as it is, uh, we had, a, we had a, a picnic, a barbecue at our house last night for our, our guess... Wednesday night children's ministry team. Marilyn, did you get that email? <laughs> yes, we didn't. I, I, we're not I, part I of know, your, I don't know why that didn't show I, up. Yeah, that's the problem I, with the I, I suppose, you know, yeah, modern day technology. technology. Yeah. yeah, you do know how to check your email, correct? I do. Okay, <laughs> I, okay. I just wanted to check I, that first. I so. think I know how to check yeah. it. Uh, so we had the barbecue last night. <laughs> Smart and, uh, <laughs> You have any good openings? I'll call them and you make a recommendation. I was going to say yeah. now. Yes, now sir. you're ready for me to go. So. <laughs> if you've got some opportunities, I'll call and recommend you if you need uh-huh. me to. All yeah. right. So you had a barbecue. So we had last the barbecue night. last night, and uh, it was uh, that's the hard part because we've got the people that we've been working very closely with over the last five six years, and just coming to the realization that you know that this is it, and uh, so yeah, that's that's the hard part. We've made some really great relationships and friendships that we we plan on on lasting a long time uh we're we're getting requests that we go to some places that would be nice vacation spots for other people so oh, good yeah you know, so that you know which is high on my list you know yeah. that, you know can can the olsons uh, bring their camper there is is number three on the question for whoever wherever uh-huh. we go yeah so. And if you get one of those spots, we'll never know your address. I yeah, feel right. confident. Yeah. That. Well, I, we Heather and I were kind of joking because we, uh, I said that I wanted to check for churches in Hawaii, and uh-huh. she's, uh, I tease her, she's a little bit stitch-like that she's not sure she wants to be on an island, you know, surrounded by water, and and she says, well, nobody will ever come see us. And I said, are you kidding me? We'll <laughs> never get rid of them. <laughs> That's right. You would have reservations yeah, yeah. most of the time, I'm sure. Yeah, so yeah. So we're we're not sure. We've had one interview, and we're just waiting for for god to reveal where that place is going to be so it, it may or may not be we interviewed with a church in maine uh, it may be there it may be somewhere else we're, we're just in that process right now so with your church 
It's just between you and the churches. I mean, they they don't assign you or move you. There's not a hierarchy that does that. There there is a hierarchy, but they don't mandate where we go. Um, the way that it works. So in in my situation, I've sent my resume to the district superintendents, and then um, after uh, they look over the resumes, then they give the resumes to the churches that have openings, and then after that, it's up to the churches and myself to to get together and do the interviews and and go to the, you know, either yes or no that we're going to go there or not. So Your responsibilities at Faith Community were supposed to be what? Uh, way back when, when <laughs> I was originally hired here, uh, it was with the idea, with the intention of uh, working on small groups, uh, adult discipleship, uh, assimilation, which <laughs> I just hate that word. I always think of, I don't know if you're a Star Trek fan, but I always think of the Borg, you know, that you, know, you, you become you know, one of the collective. But, uh, that was before my time, it's, I guess. It's, so. a, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a, a term that we just use to, you know, the, the person that comes in the front door the very first time as, as a guest. Um, just that process of of connecting with them and and uh, you know hopefully getting together the finding if it's a right fit or not for them to to be a part of our church and you know if if it is great and if not then being a part of helping them find you know where it might be so um, so all of that is is what I what I was originally hired for um, haven't been able to do a whole lot of that but uh, touched so on it here and there the uh, the couple or the family that's coming I think this weekend is that right. Mm -hmm. Yes, would, that would be not to take your place per no, se. No, no. We actually, uh, we actually started this conversation about a year and a half ago, and uh, with the intention that I would be, I would, I'm, I would not be doing children's ministry any longer, whether I were staying here forever or leaving tomorrow. Uh, this is a totally separate issue, and we've uh, we've done some interviews and invited uh, JD and Amy Kingery to come and visit us this weekend, and we're uh, we're just really excited again just to see, um, you know. There will be no decision made this weekend, but just a, a meeting, giving them an opportunity to meet the church and us to meet them and see how they interact with the kids and, you know, just see see what God would have in store for that. And we'll, we'll each pray and, and see if we can't come to the same conclusion. Who's doing that work now? The children's ministry? Mm -hmm. uh, that would be me. I so, see. Yes. All right. Yes. So. That's kind of why I said, why did you, what did you come here for? Uh, right. Because I yeah. know you've honestly have filled in a lot of spots on a lot of places and have very graciously done a lot of things and uh, i appreciate that king spell kingery for me k-i-n-g-e-r-y just like it sounds just like kingery it sounds, yeah. kingery all right yep. i'm anxious to meet them how yeah. soon what do you have any kind of a time frame window for your possible departure not really i guess at no this point. it i mean it it we could get a call today that you know that they might ask us to come in a couple of weeks to to visit out there same type of thing that jd and amy are going to be going through here mm -hmm. uh, that i would go through with another church where i'd just go to spend a weekend and we'd get to know each other and then determine you know whether or not that's the place that god has for us so um yeah it's really up in the air it could be it could move real quick it could be months we just we just don't know at this point is that in maine it is yeah small town south or uh yeah southwestern maine called bridgeton so it's an area i've not been in i'd like to go and spend a couple of months so yeah i'm i'm it's a nice big kind of a log cabin thing with a guest house attached to it well there you go yeah. come out and help you a little bit you, th you think that would work okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now back to the kingeries yes what uh, kind of a time frame, and again, all of this is dependent upon whether or not it's God's will and it comes together. Exactly, yeah. What kind of a time frame are we looking at if it should prove to be believed that it is His will? Uh, well, we'd, we would, if we had our wish, we would love to have somebody here sometime yet this summer so that they can have some time to, to kind of land on their feet and, and get ready for, for fall kickoff and everything that's going on. So we're, we're trying to move as quick as we can with, without running ahead of God. So. Okay. That's good. All right. Very good. Pastor Brett White from Faith Community Church, at least for a while longer, with us here this morning to bring us up to date on some of what's happening there. Anything else that you'd like to tell our listeners about the upcoming inevitable transition with your family? 
Uh, well, just that uh, you know, we we certainly want to continue the the relationships that we've made here, and and just because we're leaving geographically doesn't doesn't mean that we never have anything to do with each other. That's the the good thing about technology. As long as you know how to check email and <laughs> Facebook, Jerry, then uh, you can uh, you can certainly keep in touch. And and we just appreciate people praying, you know, because we you know I mean I I'm trying not to get too excited about Maine. Um, it's a geographically it's a beautiful area. I think it would be a good fit for the church, but ultimately it's it's god's decision and and that's we don't want to be anywhere other than where he wants us to be so i would just appreciate everybody's everybody's prayers in in that matter and and then just for the transition for our family certainly either one of you have relatives in that area no no we do not so so your relatives are praying that that would open up for you i'm guessing then (laughs) you're you're funny (laughs) you see you just give it right back (laughs) (laughs) that that maybe you could move to Maine pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. That, that's well. They're they're probably actually just like everybody else. They're just more excited about a cool vacation spot because it's close <laughs> to the ocean. It's in the mountains, and it's you know. So. On a serious note, mm-hmm. and I can do that occasionally. On a serious note, we will pray for you because these are very important decisions. And as you said earlier, if it's God's will and God's way, it it's wonderful. Yeah. And, uh, but and of course you're not like that. But I'm tend to be a little bit of want to rush things and push things and kind of help God know what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I, don't know if, I don't know if you overheard me talking to your lovely bride in, in the lobby earlier. I but did I, not. I, yeah, I, she asked about how it was going, and I said I have to keep reminding myself that it's only been a week since that interview because I, I would have liked to have known three yeah. days ago and you know either be packing bags or pursuing what's next. So, But determining that it is God's will for you, I'll be really happy about that as much as I hate to see you leave here. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. And uh, if it's his will, it it will be good, and souls will be saved, and Mm -hmm. disciples will be made, and it'll be a wonderful thing. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's the exciting part is is as hard as it is to to leave our friendships and relationships here it's it's just exciting to think of all the opportunities that God has for us. So the the good part is we'll have we'll have all eternity to sit around and exchange emails and you know now we we just have some work to be done before that. So. Not going to have emails there, are we? You, you, I, tell me. Who knows. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> Kevin, I'm not real well, if, good. If we do, you'll be really good at checking it. <laughs> All right. I'll remember that. I'm not real real good at, with Facebook. Some folks are. I just don't I just don't get there very often and you know, I've got about a, tr- a trillion LinkedIn people want to link in. Go ahead and link in. I don't mm-hmm. know how to link in. I'm just not into I just do well to get up and get dressed and get down here every morning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I understand easy that. Now. Yeah. Easy now. Yeah, easy, Pastor. I, I'll, maybe we should easy. just move on. <laughs> easy. Family movie night. Let's talk a little bit about Saturday night. Yeah, this is very exciting. We uh, we are having a family movie night this Saturday starting at uh, at 5 o'clock. And what we're doing is inviting families, and, and, and we mean families, so we don't want kids dropped off because uh, this is an opportunity that we have um, – to, to be able to, to, to have a good night together, a movie night. There's so many families, Jerry, that just don't really even know how to interact together. Um, most people's idea, even if it is a movie night, is just to sit down and, and veg in front of the television together. Um, so we want to kind of model a little bit for those that don't know and invite those that do know to come along with us and so we're going to sit down and we're going to have uh, have some some food together starting at five we're going to eat together and uh, each of the families will stay together uh, throughout the whole night so we won't send the kids off to one side of the room and adults to the other Uh, we'll encourage them to stay together and uh, uh, eat together and then we'll have some some fun and games and I think there's even some giveaways some door prizes and then uh, we'll We'll watch the movie and part of what we want to do is to help the parents to understand uh, of, of how to start thinking you know as you're watching the movie start paying attention to what's going on in the film um, there's some amazing truths in you know God has a way of, of inserting his truth into even things that don't happen at church imagine that and uh, so we're watching uh, for instance this week we're gonna be watching the movie frozen and uh, if you've uh, if you've seen that movie you know already and if you haven't I'll tell you there's some great opportunities for some some really deep life lessons uh, to t- help teach your kids, uh, whether it be uh, 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 sacrificial love, whether it be how to how to be watching for you know a, a, a guy that comes to try and woo your daughter's heart, you know, dads, you can talk to him about that of of how to be aware of that. So just some some real truths that we can help uh, help parents to understand and see and be able to start those conversations with their kids. So 
So do I need to give uh, notice that I'm coming with my family and how many are in my family? No, you can, you can just show up, and we've got some food there for you. The, the ladies did some shopping this week. Uh, uh, my wife and, and Nikki Graham have taken this on, and they've, uh, they've been doing all the planning and preparing for this, so they're ready for us. You just come and, and be ready to, to have some food and watch the movie and have a great night with your family. Be there by 5? Yeah, it starts at 5, and that'll be up at the church in the sanctuary. Will be done when? Uh, probably eight thirty ish. By the time we, you know, I mean, you got a movie in there, so by the time we get through everything, a couple hours. So. And where is the church? Uh, Twenty seven zero one North Eighth Street. What's the number they could call if they want more information? Uh, that would be six two three three four seven two. And that's this Saturday, June the seventh. Correct. Five o'clock. No charge. No charge. Anybody can come. Yes. Please. They go to church somewhere else. That's fine. If they don't go to church anywhere, that's fine. It's okay. I'll be out. I'll be in the parking lot. I'll teach them the secret handshake before they come through the door. Very so, good. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Whether you come to our church or not, this is. Uh, yeah. So much of what we do, Jerry, is it's. Uh, I I enjoy because it is outside of our walls. We're we're more interested in in our community than we are our church. So, Very good. Yeah. All right. That's this Saturday, June the seventh, and then. Sunday, what's happening? Uh, Sunday is, uh, I'm excited about this. We've got our, uh, our Kids of Faith that uh, Julie Showalter, who is our, our worship director, she puts together a kids' choir, and every once in a while we get to, to have them share on a Sunday morning. So they are, uh, they are taking over this Sunday. Um, they are going to be leading our, our worship music, and they are going to be doing our announcements, and they are going to be uh, praying for our offering, and they are going to be do, doing everything except we can't get somebody to preach in place of Pastor David, but we tried. So Are you sure? Yes. I, we, Can we, we try again? long and hard. <laughs> uh, couldn't we try again? Well, we could, we could see. Breath to so, see if there's yeah. some, not somebody. Yeah. So, they're, uh, so the kids, yeah, the kids are taking over this Sunday. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, one thing, I mean, this is not an opportunity to, to come in and just to be a spectator. Uh, it's just a great opportunity for the kids to be able to get a hands-on experience of, of what it looks like on, on the other side of the congregation to be able to, to help lead and worship and and the, it's going to be fun for them they're, Julie's been working with them and they're, uh, they've been practicing and praying through all of their, their stuff that they're doing so it's going to be fun What a great experience though for everybody Yeah, absolutely yeah. And Julie is so gifted and she, then brings out the best in those young people it's a wonderful thing for everybody yeah 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 julie's even gotten gotten me to to perform a couple of times and that and is amazing it, I mean, that is, yeah that should be a, a testimony enough yeah. as to her her qualifications exactly right <laughs> there is a god in heaven yeah. and he can work through people like julie to even make bread acceptable yeah, so that's e easy there <laughs> pretty pretty amazing so what time will we be doing that sunday uh we have two services uh just like normal our first service at nine o'clock and then the second at ten forty-five. And uh, uh, one of the things, too, that's kind of exciting about this weekend, as I said, J.D. and Amy will be here. So um, we will, during second service, after the kids are done, we'll kick all the kids out, and J.D. will get an opportunity to connect with them on Sunday. So that'll be during our, our regular Sunday school time. And then we do have Sunday school for our adults during the 1045 hour as well. So. Great plan. Yeah. Again, open to anybody. Mm -hmm. Come and yes, get absolutely. a blessing out of yep. it. And then uh, MOPS, tell us what's happening with the MOPS program. Yeah, this is, uh, we've actually done this. If you come and look at our, our uh, living room wall, you'll see some of the MOPS, pi MOPS pictures up there. Um, it, it's a great deal. Uh, what, uh, what happens is you get a, a 10 by 13 storyboard, which will include, if you've got multiple children, they'll, they'll include all the kids in there in different shots. And uh, you, for $15, you can come to Faith Community and purchase uh, a coupon that will get you that, that storyboard. And then they will call you for an appointment sometime between uh, Thursday the 12th and Saturday the 14th. And, excuse me, then what happens when you go to pick that picture up, um, they will have uh, other options of you know packages and and such that if you want to purchase you can uh, but there's no obligation to uh, and it's just fun because they uh, they come with uh, different dress up things for the kids they've got uh, different themes whether it be victorian or you know 50s they've got little leather jackets and dresses for the girls and and it's just a, a fun time for the kids to be able to dress up fun time for the parents to be able to get a a, a fun shot of the kids to to show off to the relatives that come for holidays so that'll that'll 
it'll all be be going on uh, Thursday the 12th through Sunday, or I'm sorry, Saturday the 14th. And uh, again, they can just call the church and uh, or just stop by to pick up that that coupon. And they can do that when? Uh, anytime. We're usually there uh, Tuesday through Friday for sure, uh, between nine and five. And any other time, it'd probably be best just to call to see if we're there. So, and but then. I'm sorry, all that, I was just going to say, all that, all the money that's collected for that then stays here in Red Oak for our mops that meet here. So it's just a fundraiser for them. So basically for a $15 donation to the mops program. Mm -hmm. You get a 10 by 13 storyboard of your kids. And yes. then they'll have additional packages you can purchase if you want. Right. But right. you don't have to. Yep. Again, open to anybody from anywhere? Absolutely, yeah. You don't need to be part of MOPS. You don't need to be a part of Faith Community. Uh, you, you just come and, and bring your kids and get your pictures taken. And the pictures will actually be taken then between June 12th and June 14th? Correct, yeah. Yeah, you come get the coupon anytime now and then before then, and then they will call and, and find a time that works for you and them and, and get an appointment set up for you, and then they'll have a room set up at the church that day, and you come and, and they'll have the all the costume and everything done there, and you get your pictures taken, and it all takes about 15 minutes. And the money again goes to what? Uh, money stays here for our MOPS program, which is a mothers to preschool, mothers of preschoolers, and that's a, a, a ministry that goes on here. That ladies from our community meet meet up at the church, and the kids are, are fed, the ladies are fed, and and they're just able to uh, communicate with other adults for an evening and and uh, be able to to get out and connect with other moms. Speaking of adults communicating, we do have a men's only study. We do. We've got a couple of those coming up, actually. We, uh, we are starting a, a brand new study that will be meeting weekly on Monday nights at 7 o'clock, and that will be starting on uh, this next Monday, June 9th, and we're going to be going through the Truth Project. Um, it's a, a study put out by Focus on the Family, uh, just a real quality program that looks at, uh, looks at our, our worldview and how things were intended, uh, looking through the lens of Scripture, and uh, kind of comparing to where we're at today and and then leaves us with the opportunity to say what are we going to do about it so. and again open to anybody a anybody yes and i know we've done this uh we've offered this in the community uh dr bill arthur holt uh has has done this with uh, down at the y uh, a couple of years ago i believe it was so uh, we talked last week as a, a group of men got together and decided that we would uh we'd like to present this and, and give an opportunity for the men to get together and, and look at this. Cause it's, it's our belief that uh, um, you know, while, while men are not superior to women, that uh, there's something different about male leadership, that, uh, that it's important that we, we come together and, and have a, a, a biblical understanding of our worldview and what that means for us and our families. So. No pre-registration required. No, because there's no there's no merch uh, no purchase of materials necessary. So you can just show up and and uh, there'll be a the DVD lasts about an hour and then uh, we'll have a little bit of discussion. So about ninety minutes and we'll be done each each Monday. That's being held at the church building. Yes, at the church, yeah. which is located where. 2701 North 8th Street. And a number they could call if they wanted more information? Yeah, if you have questions, you can call 623-3472. And then on Thursday night... Yeah, Thursday night, this is a monthly meeting that we've been doing for the past few months, and we'll determine after this month if we want to continue. Uh, but this one, we have one for the men that's called Men at the Outpost, and the other is Women at the Well that is just for the women. And this is, a, a again, it's a video teaching that we uh, we simulcast in the in the sanctuary. And after that teaching, um, and it, it it's just depend. It's obviously it's biblical, and uh, and then the the men with the men and the women with the women will just spend a little bit of time digesting together what they've heard and uh, and then uh, go on and see how it fits their their lives so the men uh, men at the outpost will meet uh, Thursday June 12th at 630 and then the women for women at the well will be on that following Friday June 13th at 630 if they've never been to one before they still can come yeah absolutely that's one of the best things about this is it's just a it's a standalone so if you can only make one of them you can you can come and, and and not be coming into the middle of something that you've missed. So, We're talking with Goodbye Brett, Brett White from the uh, Faith Community Church in Red Oak, located where? 2701 North 8th Street. And if it's God's will, he and his family will be leaving. That's why I just uh, call him Goodbye Brett. 
he will be greatly missed, but we're talking with him about activities that will be ongoing, even as difficult as it will be without him and his family here, if they should move on, that are right around the corner now at Faith Community Church in Red Oak. And I appreciated what he said earlier. They're not just about what happens inside the building or even so much about what happens as they are about the community and what happens there can make a difference in the life of you and your family. So that's what this is about. Absolutely. The big mission trip is almost here. Yeah, it's hard to believe. We're about a, about a week away from that. So we're, uh, we're looking at a, a team going to the Dominican, uh, excuse me, Dominican Republic. And they'll be leaving June 13th and be gone through the 21st. And uh, David and Connie are bringing a, a group of, of kids down, and they're going to be uh, loving on the people in the Dominican Republic. So it's pretty exciting. You know, several of the kids are, are you know, they've got passports in hand and now it's real and they're they're getting just a little bit nervous so but they're very excited as well are there any needs for those that are going or for the trip other than certainly faithful prayers yes absolutely certainly be praying for them and uh you know david and connie have have lied to the children and told them that their bags can only be 30 pounds when in fact they can be 50 and the reason that we've done that is because um, we, uh, David and Connie have been in contact with the, with the mission leaders that are down in the Dominican now, and they've asked for peanut butter and granola bars. Uh, so apparently you cannot get the same type of peanut butter there that is available here. And so that was one of their requests for, uh, for peanut butter and, and granola bars to be brought down. So um, the kids are all a part of this, so they're, they're keeping their, uh, you know, their, what they're taking to a minimum so that they can they can fit uh, the peanut butter and granola bars and a few other supplies in their bags and be able to leave those there after they get there so if if anybody uh, would like to be a part of that and would like to donate uh, some obviously unopened jars of peanut butter jerry not not don't go home to your cupboard i was gonna say i think we've got about a half a jar out here that we used in (laughs) mousetraps exactly so that's what we don't want we we want unopened jars but uh, yeah if you want to donate those uh yeah we'd be glad to stick those in some of the kids bags and take those down with them and uh so yeah either granola bars and, and any flavor any kind of granola bar just something to be able to to bless the people down there and, and leave with them that'll help sustain them any specifics about peanut butter that containers or kind or no no anything anything you'd like to to bring so okay all right so again if you'd like to help with that they obviously need that by when uh by the end of, of this week would be best because then they'll have time to to make sure that everything gets packed and and uh, where it needs to be. All right. And then the challenge. Yes, that is... uh, um the, the Connie started this a few years ago. It's a, it's basically it's like vacation Bible school for teenagers. So junior and senior high kids, and uh, uh, rather than crafts and snacks, and they do mud and obstacle courses. And and the reason that it's called the challenge is that uh, Connie does a great job. She uh, she's very intentional about challenging them physically with the with the obstacle course, but she also challenges them mentally. Uh, so there will be some different puzzle games and and challenges that they have to accomplish there and then and then also challenging them spiritually and uh, so there'll be biblical content that they'll go through and and things that you know rather uh, whether it be our, our junior and senior high kids or, or our grade school kids Jerry our our goal is to not just to teach the kids story and content but we want them to be able to to hear those those truths of, of the Bible and be able to understand you know so what 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 does this mean to my life so that That'll, that'll be all a part of the challenge that goes on for those kids. And uh, that will be from uh, July 24th through the 27th. And if they, uh, if they have any questions, they can call the church and talk to Connie at 623-3472. Um, or they can, they can stop by and, and try to catch her while she's there, too. So. Again, open to anybody. Yeah, absolutely. Ages yeah. designed for what ages? Uh, this will be junior and senior high school kids. So, and kids that are have just come out of you know not not going into next year but just coming out of so you said it's like vacation bible school it's not like any vacation bible school i ever went to. well you know maybe maybe like a boot camp would have been a, a better description <laughs> and uh let's just take a minute to say thanks to connie because she obviously again is very gifted and uh, is open to and uh, submitted to the lord's leadership in her life to provide a 
tremendous ministry mm-hmm. to those young yes. people. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and she does a great job. I mean, you 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 see how how God moves in that ministry that she has to those kids, and and it's pretty spectacular, yeah. especially at her age. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> there were several things. You, that went, yeah, <laughs> I, I I may have drawn a little bit of blood as I bit down there. <laughs> so again, Connie, thank you. God bless you. All right, and then VBS. We'll yes. be right around after the corner after that. Yeah, real VBS. Uh, uh, yeah, the real VBS. Yeah, this is uh, our vacation Bible school for our, our kids' uh, preschool all the way up through grade six. And uh, the uh, uh, the the theme this year is is weird animals. And just looking at uh, the fact, you, I mean, you look out even even our doors here, um, and you see all the different kinds of of grasses and trees and plants and birds and animals, and and you know that we have a, a God of great creativity. And so looking at the fact that uh, none of us were, were meant to be the same, we're all created uniquely and individually, and yet uh, we all have a, a common purpose, kind of, you know, as we, as we joked about earlier, that uh, David and I are, are really nothing alike in our personalities, but that's good because when we come together, uh, we're a better team because of it. So that's August sixth through the tenth. Yeah, yeah, and we'll be we'll be talking to the kids about how you know some of the things that God did in them and how He's wired them and put them together. And and while it may be different, that's okay because they've uh, they've got a purpose for for Him to be used. That's an evening yeah, program. Yeah, yeah. It uh, starts at oh boy, I didn't write that down. So well, now you're testing matter. my memory. So yeah, I believe it's six thirty to eight forty five. I'm I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure that's what it is. So yeah, it'll be August sixth through the tenth, uh, starting at six thirty, and you know we'll have uh, we'll have registration there at the church, and we'll have some opportunities to to get some information out throughout the summer too. So yeah, we've got some time on that. Yet, yeah. But- That'll be basically for up to junior high and senior high then? Correct, yeah, all the way through grade 6, yep. August the 6th through the 10th, but parents, you might mark that on your calendar now because life has a way of getting busy and hectic, and so block that time out so that you can make sure that your children are involved in what will be a wonderful, fun learning experience for them. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, that's a good point because I don't know if you've noticed, but it's it's June already. I think that... <laughs> yeah. I, Without opening my email, I figured that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that snuck up on us pretty quick. It certainly has. All right. Well, again, we're talking with uh, goodbye Brett, Brett White from Faith Community Church here in Red Oak. Where's the church located? Uh, we're at the top of the hill on 8th Street, 2701 North 8th. What time are the services? Uh, we have two services, both identical, uh, one at 9 o'clock and the other at 1045. What are we doing this Sunday? Uh, this Sunday we have our Kids of Faith helping to lead our worship services, and uh, so they'll, uh, they're, oh, that's that's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. And but before we've all, that on Saturday night. And Saturday night, yes, we have our, our family movie night. So bring your, your kids and round everybody up and bring the whole family down, and we'll watch Frozen together and have snacks and games and food and all kinds of good times. That starts at 5 o'clock on Saturday night. Will King yeah. be here on Saturday night? Uh, yes, as far as I know, they're here. They have, uh, I believe Gabe is, ooh, I think he's three or four years old. And uh, so they will have their family and they'll be they'll be participating with us, yeah. The Kingaries will be here through the weekend then and mm-hmm. as a potential member of the staff with the children's ministry responsibilities. Correct, yeah. yeah and we're just excited about the possibility of seeing, you know, if, if, they're, the, if they're the ones if, that God is, has separated for this or not. So, Can you kind of, throttle dave down a little bit so he does do they know him very well or yeah they actually know him very well yeah well that's good then they won't be scared off yeah so they'll yeah they they know what to expect there that's good that'll be helpful all right and uh so again that's what's happening but also we want to mention the mops program because june the 12th through the 14th is right upon it yeah yeah that's just they need to be picking up their coupons yeah yeah so call the church 623-3472 and and get a hold of those coupons and and i'm guessing that that will fill up pretty quickly so very good anything else you know that i don't know you know that i'd want to know so that everybody can know pastor brett 
Uh, boy, I don't know, Jerry. Uh, okay. That's a lot of no's. <laughs> that's what I would have expected. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. know. Yeah, no, we just uh, we just love the opportunity to be here and to be able to to offer this stuff to the community. Like I said, we're 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 doing this stuff not just to keep ourselves busy because we we can find plenty to keep ourselves busy, but we just really want to be able to offer some quality things that that are going to help benefit the community and just give people the opportunity, uh, kind of setting the stage and setting up the atmosphere for them to come in and. And be able to to walk in and see, you know, what what this Jesus thing is all about, and and what he has in store for them. So. One day before very long, I can see you sitting in your lonely office in Maine, wishing there was a radio station there like the one that you used to visit in Iowa. Well, you know, the good thing is, is you're on the internet, and that's I know true. how to access that, that's so true. I can listen to you there. But it's one way, so that's the other good thing about <laughs> well, it. Well, that is, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to worry about what your next comment's going to uh, be. Yeah. So there is a God in heaven, isn't there? There is, certainly, yes. Anything else you want us to know this morning, Pastor White? Uh, no, just uh, want to thank you for, for your time, and we appreciate it. I want you to know again, sincerely, we jest and have fun back and forth, but on a very serious nature, we will be praying for you and for your family. These are big decisions and mm-hmm. will be resulting in some considerable change as mm-hmm. it relates to family relationships and all of those things. But if God's in it and God's for it, it's always good. Yeah, absolutely. And if he isn't, you're hitting your head against a brick wall. Right. Yeah, and that's that's the whole point that we could uh, we could have have chosen to stay here, and and that would have been wrong because God has made it clear that He's He's calling us to something else, and and it would not have been good here because it's not not in God's plan. So wherever wherever it is, and it's a little bit harder, it's a little bit scarier and and more intense but uh it, it's it's his will so it's good if you want to leave me their telephone number in maine i'll be glad to talk to him a little bit i'm not sure that i'm prepared to do that <laughs> <laughs> make it a good day god bless you and a pleasure to visit with you thanks you too jerry pastor brett white affectionately known now as goodbye brett if uh, you haven't had an opportunity to get to know brett and his family i hope you'll at least get a chance to meet him before They may be leaving our community, and we sincerely pray for them the very best as God continues to work in and through them.